This is the uh, Nokia N8. Here I'm going to demonstrate the uh, predictive uh, text input with the virtual keyboard. So first we have to turn it on. You click on settings. In here you click on phone, language, predictive text. You can select between the number pad or the letter keyboard. Here I'm going to turn on the letter keyboard. So that would be the uh, QWERTY. Click back, click back, exit. So the best example is the uh, notepad. I'm going to create a new note. Here I'm going to click on the area. Here I have the text, the QWERTY keyboard. So watch while I type this. It suggests this. I click on this arrow. It accepts it. Now if I start typing something wrong, like that. So here I have to t click on it, then I'll switch. So, oops, let's see, try that again. So there's a suggestion right there. So what I'm going to do is click on it. There we go. So let's try something, type something for real. Oops, I missed the eye. Uh, so I want that. No, I don't want show. So there we go. If you type it wrong, it just accepts whatever you have there. If I ever type that again, Lee. Well, if I click on it and I actually click on the wrong spot, it won't select it. So you got to get it exactly uh, right. So for Click on it. See, there it switches. So it's good. Now, another place um, that the BlackBerry has, so I'll just demonstrate this right now, is uh, the uh, context sensitive. So if I click on the uh, browser, you click on the go to, click on here. Some people have noted that every time you click on something, the keyboard would take over the entire screen. So you don't know what you're typing into. That goes for. Um, predict like if you need to enter a cap uh, captcha on a website when you click on it it goes into this virtual keyboard so you can't you have to memorize what the captcha is watch if i type in a i have to actually type in the dot com it doesn't predict that i'm going to want to or even suggest it and i can put space space doesn't put a dot like the blackberry does it doesn't put a slash either um And notice that if I type something wrong, it doesn't suggest. So all t predictive text is, predictive typing is disabled on the uh, URL. And to accept is right here. Click accept, and I click go to. There we go. So that's the uh, demonstration of the uh, text input. So if I, actually, let me show you a browser one. If I take on Google and I click on that, so I'll click on it again. There we go. So. I just got to remember which input box, so I'm searching for something. So let's look for, uh, uh, let's say, Eric's. Uh, the predictive ty ty text typing is here. So, oops. I'm uh, fat fingering this. Click search. There we go. Generally, um, the uh, text input is pretty accurate, uh, except for um, when you're typing in text, when you're, it's really small links, it, it's fairly accurate. It takes a little bit of time, like I'm just clicking, trying to click this jump right now. There we go. Oops. There we go. Now it's going. You can zoom out by pinching, zoom in. Fairly good res uh, response from the touch screen. There we go. Uh, and that's about it.